Hello, good morning. It's Anil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets on Friday the 13th of May 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignal.com and download the latest signals and market updates from leading providers. And you can download the uh, the actual uh, app via the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of European market analysis, it certainly seems to be a, a downward trajectory at present, uh, given the fact that uh, we uh, have had this uh, Brexit uh, reality shock really hit the market, and we certainly seem to be in a uh, sell-off. Now, the uh, US market certainly closed weaker last night, and uh, we also, on the back of uh, weaker jobs data, Really, it was more to do with weaker jobs data. I mean, the oil price certainly remained strong, but it was more to do with Apple being hit, uh, you know, China concerns possibly. Overnight, we have had Chinese bad loans certainly increase as well, so to a large extent. But given the gap down, it was uh, factored in from my perspective. Now, the Nikkei is down my minus 1.4% overnight, the Shanghai more or less flat, and the, uh, the Hang Seng down 1%. So certainly a negative bias, but having said that, folks, having said that, we are seeing the signs that uh, the market certainly has bottoms here, okay? Uh, in terms of economic data this morning, first of all. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll certainly tell you that I've been stopped out of my FTSE longs thus far. Uh, now, I am seeing signs of a uh, potential bottom in the FTSE at this 6060 zone. And also, uh, the Aussie Kiwi certainly showing signs of life. And given the fact that oil remains strong and bullish and is consolidating for the next leg higher, which should technically support the uh, equities. Uh, for a thrust higher as well. Now, this morning we've had CPI data, so uh, inflation data out of Germany certainly coming in line. Uh, GDP slightly being, uh, beating uh, expect expectations at 0.7% quarter on quarter basis. Okay. Uh, in terms of the uh, Ger uh, French payrolls, they came in in line, so no concerns there. The CPI data in Spain in line. GDP in Italy coming out slightly better than expected. Okay. Uh, on a quarter on quarter basis, uh, sorry, on a year on year basis, but on a quarter on quarter basis, more or less in line. CPI slightly weaker than expected, so again, that should certainly keep the uh, the QE trade alive, and that should certainly keep the uh, euro at bay. So, uh, in terms of uh, economic data this morning, no alarm. Okay, uh, nothing uh, suggesting that we are obviously facing a, a growth squeeze. Okay, a weaker growth, uh, like Mr. Carney said yesterday. He certainly spooked the market with his comments of, uh, of weaker growth projections and higher inflation projections, which means obviously the bank has to be hawkish, which really is a confusing signal to send out, given the the uncertainty that already exists regarding Brexit. And then he highlighted the concerns and so on and so forth as we get nearer to the time. So very um, very interesting juncture at this market okay so in terms of the technicals let's bring up the technicals for you on the uh, euro stocks euro stocks as you can see here hitting double bottom support level on the 60 minute chart on the daily chart i uh, i expect that pivot low pivot low was uh, 2894 that the uh, obviously bottoming tail i'm certainly expecting that to hold and i remain long on the euro stocks at this juncture certainly looking for a potential move higher in terms of the German DAX, let's just bring the German DAX. You can see that the German DAX is into its gap fill support. If I bring up the 60 minute chart, you'll be able to see that. You've got gap fill support and horizontal support. And certainly looking for a thrust higher, especially given the fact that the Euro USD now is currently languishing at the 1.1350 level and justifying more QE given the weaker inflation numbers. Okay, so certainly looking for gap fill for my uh, understanding. You are looking at 9861 initially, and then you are looking at further moves higher. The daily chart, you clearly see you're into that gap fill support, horizontal support, and we seem to be oscillating between that zone. Certainly coming into support and looking for a potential move higher here on the uh, German stock market. Now the French CAC, again, horizontal support on the daily, looking for a potential thrust higher. The FTSE 100 certainly has been um, plastered, shall we speak. Certainly has been uh, under the cosh uh, and uh, certainly sold off quite sharply after we fail this inverted head and shoulders. Now, once you fail an inverted head and shoulders pattern, it always obviously creates an emotive move in the opposite direction, but this one has been exacerbated by Mr. Carney's comments. I did expect the, the FTSE to certainly hold footing at the uh, 6100, given the fact that oil prices are still at the $46 level and looking to break higher. Now, if I bring up a chart of oil and certainly demonstrate this for you, you can see we're consolidating up here. We haven't sold off with the market, which is a good sign, okay? Uh, we're consolidating above the previous high. Now, the weekly chart certainly shows you that uh, you are looking at the next potential support or resistance zone 
being at the uh, $50 level. So $50 next, and then obviously you are looking at $60 after that. So on a weekly basis, we've certainly broken out, okay? And looking for higher prices in oil, and that obviously we all know what happens next. Once we have higher prices in oil, risk generally moves higher, and the markets rally accordingly, okay? So that's basically what we're observing, and that's what we're expecting in this uh, in this market at the moment. Now bring up the S&P 500, or even the Nikkei. You can see the Nikkei certainly has base here at 16,000, okay? So again, that certainly needs to be observed. Let's just bring up the chart of the Shanghai as well. Shanghai daily languishing here with dojis and certainly look potential support. Your stock 600. Now that was a weekly chart. Let's just bring up the daily chart for you. Daily chart as well. Again, you are coming into support now for the daily chart. So this is a zone from my perspective and my understanding that you are looking for a nice rally. Especially given the fact that oil prices are set to move higher. Now the FTSE 100 on the daily chart, if I bring up the daily chart for you folks, you can clearly see that we have got to immense level of support here at 6040, 6050. So therefore looking for a potential thrust higher. A lot of the bad news certainly has been baked in from my understanding. Now if I bring up the chart of the Aussie as well, which is I think is a very important chart to observe. The daily chart is into its 200 MA. So that's telling you that the Aussie and uh, certainly needs to rally and the Kiwi needs to rally as well, which in turn will send the FTSE 100 higher given the fact that commodities are going to rally. Again, same thing with the Kiwi. Kiwi is into support, looking for a nice thrust and a move higher. Okay, so certainly from my understanding here is that risk is on. Uh, FTSE should, should start to move higher. We have had comments from Michelle and overnight with potential em embracement of uh, negative rates again, etc. So that should certainly help the Kiwi and the Aussie lift higher, which in turn helps the FTSE lift higher and then obviously oil goes higher. And therefore the market's certainly looking to move higher. Now let me just bring up the chart of the bonds because I do think the bonds are very important here. Uh, Euro bond, here we go. Okay, Euro bond. So again, looking at the Euro bond, you can clearly see the weekly chart is on the verge of a breakout. Well, it already has broken out. Uh, and uh, certainly has uh, tested that support level and certainly looking um, from a uh, equity market perspective with bonds making potential new highs that should send uh, the uh, equity markets to uh, new highs as well so certainly some sort of disparity the bonds and equities certainly are diverging to a large extent especially with the uh, the fact that bonds are obviously into this resistance level for now so again certainly will be very interesting for folks to observe okay certainly very interesting we can't see this qe game unfolding it continues this new game of musical chairs will continue so it's very unlikely to see it come to an end especially given the fact that german gdp was in line cpi day yes it remains weak but enough uh Putin, obviously uh i i it's that gold lock scenario where you are looking for more qe so again that should support equity so given the fact that oil obviously is attempting to break out as well let's just bring up chart of copper copper always gives you a good a good gauge and you can see here as well this is one of the reasons why i'm actually long the aussie because the chart of copper on the, on the daily is certainly into support. So if copper is into support, oil is into support, obviously that means that Kiwi and Aussie are into support, which means FTSE is into support, and therefore you are looking for a nice, a, a very potent rally. Okay? I'm going to do a video on the US market shortly, and uh, hopefully that will give you a, a better insight as to where we are positioned. Okay, folks? Right, there's that's a market wrap up. Wrap up. Please do visit CFDs.com for your uh, trading needs, and certainly take advantage of that potential 25% cash bonus offer. Goodbye.